One day, Emily, Molly, and Rosie were cooking their favorite food. Suddenly, the stove had turned into a shark, and he was hungry. Gordon arrived at the station to drop off some passengers. When he saw him, what is that shark doing here? The shark was heading towards Blue Mountain Quarry. Oh, I have to go and tell Sir Topham Hat. But the shark was heading towards Caroline instead. Oh my god, why is there a shark in my railway? Then Caroline bumped into a green car. Well, that's a relief that the airbag didn't come out. Um, sir, that's a bad thing. The airbag has to come out. Oh, never mind. Did you see that shark? Yes. Emily, Molly, and Rosie's stove had turned into a shark. It did? Great! What are we going to do? Wow, it's a good thing I called Ert. Uh, sir, what does that mean? And what does it stand for? Glad you ask. It stands for Erotic Rescue Animal Team. Did you wear that earpiece? No, why? Oh, no reason, sir. No reason. Soon the arts arrive. Okay, sir. What's going on? Well, there is a shark in my railway. Don't worry. We can fix this. How? Well... I'm going to use my shotgun to kill the shark. That will be a great idea. The shark was a magic shed. Let's do this. The shark is dead. But what about Emily, Molly, and Rosie? Did they get eaten by a shark? Nope. We're still alive. Well, that's a relief. And everything is back to normal. Not so fast, Topham. You were driving Caroline without wearing an earpiece while on the phone. So you're coming with me. What? Oh, Gordon, I'm gonna get you. So Sir Top Pat went to jail for the rest of the day by a police officer. And everything went back to normal. But everyone had forgotten about the dead shark body. Hey. Why is there a dead shark in my shed?